In this tutorial, I'll show you how easy it is to label your data plot. In Book 1, we have a raw data sheet and then an analysis of the data as a second sheet. A frequency count of the data was performed. You'll also see related information such as cumulative frequency. With the count column selected, I'll create a column plus label plot. The column plot will label each column with the Y value. To edit the graph, just double click on the data plot. The plot details dialog will open at the data plot level, as can be seen from the graph hierarchy on the left hand side of the dialog. Let's go to the Label tab and then look at some of the other options we have for labeling the points. We can label with both the X and Y values. Let's collapse the dialog here. With this option, we may want to rotate the labels by 90 degrees and apply that setting. Now notice that the labels get cut off at the layer frame. That's a property of the layer itself. Go to display and then turn off the data drawing option of clip data to frame. All labels are completely visible. You can also choose another column of data to use as your labels. Let's go back to the data plot level, the label column, and notice that we have columns here that appear in the worksheet. So if I wanted to label each column with the relative frequency value, I could select that option there and then click OK. And then what we see is this column right here is being used to label the plot. Let's now plot multiple data sets as a stacked column graph. Here we have a book with some data, Honda versus Toyota, miles per gallon. If I want to look at city mileage for the year 2000, as well as for the year 2010, I control select. This time when I click on the column plot options, I'm going to choose stack column. Let's go ahead and tile again. To have the book appear on the left, I make that active. This graph stacks the two columns at the same X location. To make these X-axis tick labels more readable, I'll double click on them, and in the Axis dialog that opens, I can go to Custom Tick Labels and set a rotation. The tick labels then fall outside of the white area, the printable part of the page. So if you wish to resize the graph layer, click inside to select it, and then use the sizing handles. We can also click inside and then use the arrow keys on the keyboard just to shift it up. If I want to customize the colors of the graph, I click to select, which selects the entire data plot. I can then use the style toolbar to change an incremental color list. If I click again, it'll select just that one data plot, the year 2010, and then I can set an individual color, even choosing a custom color. Repeat that for the year 2000. We can even take it one step further and click again to select an individual data point. But that's a topic of another movie. So I'll click outside to deselect, and then double click to get into plot details, where I can now look at my labeling options. So I go to the Label tab and then Enable Labels. Collapse the dialog if you wish. If we want to label this plot with our highway mileage, highway miles per gallon, as well as the greenhouse gas emissions, we can do that by combining the two columns as a custom option. Custom also lets you type in literal text. If what I really want is the Y value, then I use a form of substitution notation. So instead of displaying the literal text, I'll display the actual Y value. Now if I want information from a column that appears to the right in the worksheet of the current data plot, I can use this notation down here. Just copy and paste it. 
control C and control V. N is the current data plot, plus one will be one column to the right back into the worksheet. I can then apply that, and we can even go with that second column there, so change the one to a two and apply that. Now again, here we may want to rotate. And then if we take a look at Honda Civic for the year 2000, we have these three values here displayed as our labels. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.